minoxidil and hair transplants are uh, very important treatment modalities, but there are newer things happening. Uh, one thing that I often discuss with women is the use of low-level laser treatment. Uh, some women may find this to be a, a very attractive option because they can do this at home. A new device has been developed where they can wear it like a baseball cap. It provides some gentle stimulation. They wear the device three times a week for 20 minutes. And over time, it can have an effect about like minoxidil. Some may prefer to do that instead of minoxidil or with minoxidil to get a synergistic result. There are some new topical uh, programs which are available over the counter that I discuss with women. Shampoos and other things, for example, products that contain caffeine, I have found can have a thickening effect. So I go through a list of available products that I think they may want to incorporate into their daily program. And a very exciting new uh, technique that many of us are starting to do is a technique called platelet-rich plasma, or PRP for short. And what we do is we draw the patient's blood and we spin this down in a centrifuge to get the platelets. And the platelets contain a lot of growth factors. These growth factors normally function to help the body heal wounds, but when we inject them into the scalp, they actually stimulate hair growth. And some of us combine it with another growth factor product called A-Cell. And uh, we're seeing a consistent hair thickening effect. And this might be repeated over time, but it provides a, a relatively safe, non-invasive hair thickening effect without surgery. And it may also be combined with a hair transplant. For example, we may have enough grafts to thicken a area in the front of the scalp, but we have thinning throughout the scalp and use PRP to treat that. We're in an era when, where there's new options, and over the next several years, there's going to be even more options. There are companies developing growth factor-based injection treatments and even cell-based treatments for hair loss, which may be particularly good for our female patients. So I try to instill hope for my female patients because I do believe that through a combination of available treatments, we can help most women see satisfactory improvements and make them less self-conscious about the hair loss, make them stop worrying about the progression of their hair loss, and hopefully get them to forget they even have hair loss.